farmer's market started in 1992 here in Portland. We're actually not at this location. This location is our Saturday at Portland State University. When we opened in 1992, we were down at the Broadway Bridge by the Albers Mill. Um, this is our 22nd season, so we've been around for over 20 years. Many of our vendors have been with us for 20 years or more. So it's really, we've got a really solid foundation of the vendors that we work with with the market. So farmers markets seem to be popping up throughout several different neighborhoods. Why do you think popularity is increasing? I think people definitely over the last, you know, seven and ten years, people have just really started to embrace the eat local concept. Wow. Uh, the environmental impact of local is significantly less. Uh, Oregonians are really concerned about maintaining the natural beauty of the state, but also reinvesting in the agricultural economy, which is very local and very sustainable. We have really beautiful farming land in Oregon, and if we don't buy local, we'll be shipping in, and that farming land will be turned into something else. Um, and so it's just a, a way to invest in the local economy, and also the produce is better when it's it, from farm to table. The, the faster that process is, the better it is for your body. There's locality in our economies, people are wanting a lot more of community and there's so much more community in farmers markets. Shopping in a farmers market is so much more of a community engagement than you would be at the grocery store. This is the place to get the good food. And there are certain places where you can, certain markets that uh, the only place you can come because it's the only where, place that the, the particular farmer brings their products. Right. The, uh, the chili peppers people are here every fall and have to come back at least for some of their peppers. I know, I can smell them from here. They smell wonderful. Yeah. So Viridian Farm specializes in growing produce that's from Spain and southern France. We have been farming for about eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 38 acres south of Portland, close to Dayton. But we primarily sell at the farmer's market and then sell to restaurants in Portland. So tell us about the smokery. Well, we started it about 12 years ago because um, don't like we like to eat salmon. And everything I found out in the marketplace was too either too salty or too dry. So I was always complaining. So my daughters got together one year and they bought me a smoker. And they said, Dad, stop complaining, buy it, smoke it yourself. <laughs> we buy the best, best quality wild salmon caught at sea with a hook and a line. We don't use salmon caught in uh, the, the farm the, the, from the rivers. We don't use salmon trapped in nets. Okay. So it's all caught at sea with a hook and a line, which is the most sustainable way of catching salmon. Uh, we use the best processes, we uh, best ingredients. Uh, we brine it for 24 hours and we dry it with paper towels and then we air dry it for 24 hours and then we smoke it for about four to six hours. Neither of you are from Oregon. Correct, okay. we're not from Oregon. Where are you from? from Arizona. From Illinois. And what brings you to the Portland Farmer's Market? My daughter and my son and I come here, today's my birthday and I wanted to go to the Farmer's Market so they brought me. And then we come back every year and pick up fresh vegetables, things they don't find in Arizona. And uh, that's what brought me here for kohlrabi. We used to grow up back in Michigan and now we find it here every year. So that's Wonderful. pretty much why we come up here. We've been regulars here since uh, a couple of years after it started. Okay. And uh, we also spent a lot of time at our uh, neighborhood farmer's market in Woodstock on Sundays. So what is your guys' philosophy of the farmer's market? It's a grocery store. Yeah. It really is. It's our grocery store. We just uh, come to the farmer's market, spend a, a couple hours once a week, and we've done our shopping for the week, pretty much. We can find just about everything that we need here. You can do, you know, besides the fruits and vegetables, you can get bread. Yeah. It's tortillas. It looks like you've bought your week's worth of groceries here. Yeah, we have. We've, we've got... Uh, We've got our greens, we've got carrots, we've got uh, lettuce and escarole and um, onions and let's see, eggs, got salmon. a dozen eggs and some salmon from the, uh, the tribal fisherman guy who has the best salmon and the best price. I have to think that farmers markets are here to stay. I think people so enjoy them. It can it can tend to be such a family affair. It can be something that everyone is really, you know, has so much fun doing. It's way more exciting than going to the grocery store, as I mentioned. I think that aspect tied with 
um, the need for localizing our food economy where our food that is grown in season, there's no reason that you should need to buy tomatoes shipped in from 1,500 miles or more. We have just incredible food right in our own backyard, so I think that that, that isn't going to change. So we really hope that the that farmers market's popularity will continue. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too. Yeah, did you need an extra bag of paper up or are you okay like that? I think it's okay like this. Yeah, right. thanks. From the Portland Farmers Market, I'm Christina James bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.